Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at tissues, organs and organs. So, in animals, cells are grouped together to form tissues. So these tissues vary in their structure and function and origin. So there are four main types. Uh, epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue and nervous tissue. So in terms of looking, going from the smallest part of, uh, of what we need to think about to the largest, we need to think about organelles. So organelles are specialist units with in-cells that perform a certain function. Then cells, which are the basic building blocks of all living organisms. A tissue is a group of similar cells that carry out a particular function. An organ is a structure made up of a group of dis different tissues working together to perform function, so something like the heart. And a organ system is a group of organs with related functions working together to perform certain functions within the body. So if we just remind ourselves, so we've got animal cells. So some of the organelles found in animal cells have cell membranes, control what enters and leaves the cell. The nucleus controls cellular activity. Cytoplasm is the substance where chemical reactions in the cell take place. Mitochondria is where respiration takes place. And it's the products of respiration that provide energy for the cell. And ribosomes are organelles used to make protein. There are some organelles only found in plants as well. So plants have cell walls which strengthen their structure. A vacuole which contains sap and helps the cell remain turgid. And chloroplasts, so chloroplasts contain chlorophyll and are the site of photosynthesis. So in animals, like we've just said, a tissue is a group of cells uh, similar cells which are grouped together to carry out a particular function. So muscular tissue is made up of cells that are long and fibrous. So these cells are ready for contraction or the activation of tension in our muscles making it possible for our body to move. We have connective tissue that's made up of a connective web of cells inside of the body. So these hold our body parts together. Epithelial tissue is any sort of tissue that goes around something. So is a lining tissue. So all of your organs will have a layer of epithelial tissue. A nervous tissue is found within the nerve system and is made up of nerve cells. And they carry nervous impulses from the brain to the rest of the body and vice versa. So if we think about what type of tissue enables the body to move, well, it's got to be muscular tissue. So an organ is a group of different tissues that work together to carry out a particular function. So the function of an organ depends on the tissues that it's made out of, and organs usually go and form organ systems. So most organs contain four types of tissue. So a layered wall of small intestinal uh, tissue is a good example of this. So the inside of the intestine is lined with epithelial cells. Some of these will secrete hormones or digestive enzymes and others will absorb nutrients. So around this epithelial wall are layers of connective tissue and spoon muscular tissue interspersed with glands, blood vessels and neurons. And the spoon muscle contracts to go and move the fruit food through the intestines or the gut in some sort of controlled way as determined by the nervous impulses that are travelling down the neurons. So the heart is also a good example of an organ. So if we think about why does the organ need lots of uh, muscle cells? It needs a lot of muscle cells because it's constantly contracting and relaxing and it's doing this to go and pump blood around the body. And why does the heart need nervous tissue? Well, it's to enable the brain to go and have some sort of control over the rate of contraction of the heart and to make sure that the cardiac cycle is maintained. 
And if we think about what sort of tissue forms the outer layer of the heart, well, it's got to be epithelial tissue. Organs are grouped into organ systems, so uh, in which a uh, group of organs work together. So examples of this is something like the cardiovascular system or the digestive system. So the cardiovascular system transports oxygen and nutrients and other substances to the cells and transports water, carbon dioxide and other substances away from the cells. We've got the lymphatic system, so this defends against infection and disease and transfers lymph between the tissues and the bloodstream. The digestive system, so processes food, breaks it down and enables us to absorb it. And the endocrine system provides uh, communication with the body via hormones and detects long-term changes in other organ systems and maintains homeostasis. So animals and plants contain organs and tissues. So the, uh, the diagram below shows a human thorax. So what organ system is the heart part of? And what is the function of a uh, organ system? Well, the heart is part of the circulatory system and the organ system shown above is to go and take in oxygen from the air and remove carbon dioxide from the body. Another example of an organ system is the digestive system. So a layer of similar cells in the stomach is called a tissue. The stomach is an example of an organ and uh, many organs working together form a organ system. Um, there are also specialised tissues in plants. We've got xylem tissue, so xylem tissue carries water through the plant. We've got phloem tissue, so phloem tissue will go and carry the, the sugar and sucrose and glucose that's made during photosynthesis through the plant. We also get plant tissues. So plant tissues come in several forms. So we've got vascular, epidermal, ground, and meristematic tissues. So each type of tissue consists of different types of cells and have different functions and are located in different places. So if we look at this diagram, it shows a cross section of a leaf. So in which part of the leaf does most photosynthesis take place? And if we think about what a tissue is, well, the place where most photosynthesis is taking place is in the palisade layer or in the palisade tissue. And a tissue is a group of cells with similar structure and function. Thanks for watching.